Hey there guys, what's going on? This is a bit different than usual, isn't it? Well, when I'm playing a Five Nights at Freddy game, we're actually looking at the news. And when I was told about this, I legitimately thought the guy was kidding. Thank you, Biowolf. But, oh my god! Five Nights at Freddy's getting movie treatment exclusive. Yeah, this is actually insane. Apparently, and we're gonna go down, Warner Brothers has picked up the rights to Five Nights at Freddy's. I guess this is why Five Nights at Freddy's 4 isn't coming out, or at least it's not coming out anytime soon. This is actually insane. I'm, I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description so you can have a good old read about it. But, um, yeah, this is insane. This, I mean, God, if you think about how much money Scott Cawthon's made, he, uh, he donated 250 grand to, um, to a charity, I think it was cancer charity or something. So if he, he's donating 250 grand, he must have made a load of money, and now he's sold the rights on, he's, he's gonna be a very, very rich man. So we're gonna have a good old read through this together. So, the feature adaptation will be produced by Roy Lee of Vertigo Entertainment. I've, I've, I've heard of, I've heard of Roy Lee before, from such movies as movie and uh, other movie. Um, as well as Seth Graham Smith and David Katzenbeck of Catsmith Productions. You know, who made those movies, um, Catsmith and Kate Sith and Cat Dog. Those are the things. So, this game takes place in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a darker version of Chuck E. Cheese. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to go through this, because you don't know this, guys. You don't know what Freddy's is. <laughs> where an animatronic animal band performs kitty songs by day and goes on murderous rampage by night. The goal of the game is to survive a night locked inside. Knowing the fairy death machine might jump out of the dark at any moment. <laughs> that is how you explain Five Nights at Freddy's to people. We're looking forward to working with Scott to make an insane, terrifying, and weirdly adorable movie, said Graham Smith. That's actually quite interesting because, um, I, I've never, I mean, can you actually truly think where they would go with a movie? Because if you actually think about Five Nights at Freddy's in general, you are sat in a, a chair and you've got to make sure you don't die. Now they're gonna play it like Panic Room, where it's like a room, and you gotta like make sure no one gets in there, or you're trying to hide. Or is it gonna be you're stuck in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and you gotta fight your way out? Or maybe it'll be a bunch of people stuck in there, maybe some kids with their mothers and stuff. It's like no, it is night time now, and I can't survive this shit. Um, so yeah, that's very strange. Uh, I really don't know where they'll go with this, but um, I'll definitely watch it. That's for sure. Anyway, let's read some more. The story lends itself to being a movie, and it taps into a largely unexplored niche of horror that a lot of people can relate to, says Cawthon. Okay, that's Scott, Scott Cawthon who says that. Um, I, I'm not sure if he's completely correct there. I guess that's just him trying to plug his movie, but I don't know. I really don't know, because uh, horror is the easiest, uh, and I might get you know shot in the head for this, but horror is the easiest other than comedy to do in terms of movies because it's a, it's very easy to make someone scared it's very easy to make someone laugh and that's why um horror and comedy movies aren't exactly uh, seen as you know great movies in fact the, i think the highest comedy movie in the imdb is like number 50 and that's um monty python's holy grail i could be wrong there might be one above it that i'm just completely missing but yeah um I don't, I don't think it lends itself to being a movie, but I'm, I'm sure they could do something with it. Um, the project is currently out to write, which means someone's actually writing it right now. Interesting. A um, bunch of people will executive produce, etc, etc, etc. Oh my god, a Beetlejuice sequel! What?! Alright, that's, that's it, guys. You guys, we, we, don't, we don't need to talk about Five Nights at uh, Freddy's movie. We need to learn about the Beetlejuice sequel! Hello! Alright, oh, so these guys are uh, developing a Beetlejuice sequel. So if these guys are doing that, they won't really have time to do this. So I'll, I'll take the Beetlejuice sequel, anyone? Uh, if you've never watched Beetlejuice, you go see it. It's an 80s movie, it's really fun. Uh, I think it won an Oscar for uh, makeup and props and stuff. I think it was makeup, or was it props? Not sure. Uh, maybe, actually, the animatronics in it. Who would have thunk it? Um, <laughs> anyway, that is, um, that is that. I've probably talked about it as much as I can. It's actually quite insane that they're making this into a movie. Um, 
I'm excited to see what they can do with it, and I hope that they don't go the easy route and just make it really bad. Because they, I think they can do something with this, but it depends on where they go, like panic, uh, panic room kind of situation, or like uh, stuck in there with your kids. It's like, oh my god, I gotta get my kids out of here. Or, or maybe you do play as uh, Mr. Schmidt, and you know you've actually got to sit in there, and things are coming after you, and it's all evil and shit. Either way, guys, um, thanks for watching this. It's been fun to talk about, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Bye.